Hey, what's up, Sailor Sinji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Now that I feel like everyone has seen Sailor Moon Eternal Part 1 and 2 on Netflix, I feel like I can show you this video now. I'm more, much more comfortable showing this video now because there's gonna be a bunch of spoilers. This is the official visual book. Sorry, it's kind of crinkly and loud. This is the official visual book for Sailor Moon Eternal. So within this, there is cast information, there is goods information, illustrations, and there's also character profiles, which will be found in this book. It's a pretty large book, so I wanted to do a flip through and give you some of my thoughts and impressions and also tell you a little bit about how you can get one of these. So luckily these are pretty easy to find online. You can get them through Amazon JP. I got mine, I believe I ordered it through, uh, I wanna say the fan club. Yeah, I got mine through the fan club. Uh, I'm a part of the Japanese fan club and this was an option to pre-order. So I pre-ordered it and it just arrived pretty recently. So I was finally able to unbox it for you. So this is 2,700 yen. If you're paying way over that price, you're paying way too much. That is the retail price. And this one that I got from the fan club also included this little mini clear file. And that's one of the reasons why I got it through the fan club. If you didn't know, I collect clear files. I love clear files. Someday I'll show you my clear file collection because I have so many clear files for Sailor Moon. I unbox all of my merchandise. I like being able to enjoy my merchandise. I don't like them being stuck in boxes. So if you want to see other unboxings of merchandise, let me know. Here we have the clear file. Ta-da! Clear file is very beautiful. This is the same image that we've seen of all of the Sailor Guardians together in a couple of different backgrounds. So this one is pink. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. So this is the background that I have online. It's a picture of the Sailor Senshi and then this background. And I use it as a wallpaper for my desktop. That's so cute. So yeah, Sailor Moon Eternal, that's the logo for the movie. And that's the clear file. Very cute. We'll add it to my collection. Cool. This does come in plastic wrap, so I'm trying to find a good place to cut into it. I don't want to mess up the book. Okay, so first thing I want to point out is this is the front side of the book. Here you will see the inner Sailor Guardians as well as Eternal Sailor Moon. And up at the top, it has the logo in English for the movie. Sailor Moon Eternal, the movie. Down here is an obi. So this is basically just a belt that goes on the book. On the back, we have the two main images for the movie, and then we have the outer Sailor Guardians. Oh, and yeah, Chibi Moon. There's a dog barking outside, apologies. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna take off the plastic cover so I don't mess anything up. Oh, my book has a little bit of damage up at the top. That's not something I did. That's just how it came. So I might end up getting a different one. It's only 2,700 yen, so I wouldn't be uncomfortable getting another copy. I was cursed by Queen Nehalenia with a scuffed and squashed copy of the visual book. Damn it. So here's the front of this paperback book. Here's the back. So same image, just different coloring. Let's go ahead and flip through it. Ooh, is this a poster? <gasps> Dude, dope. Oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Is there anything on the back? There is. Previous story. Oh, that's so nice. So if you can read Japanese and you haven't watched Sailor Moon Crystal, you can read about the previous story and how we've gotten to this point. That's smart. I'm glad they did that for people who have not watched Sailor Moon Crystal. Okay, so here's the visual book. We have chapter markers, a message from Naoko. <gasps> I'm gonna have to translate that. Oh man, we never hear from her. I'm excited to hear that. Ooh, a timeline, cool. So this is a production timeline, looks like up to 2021. With Japanese books, you always have to read from right to left. Cute, we have a whole bunch of character illustrations for each of the characters. So I don't know how to read this, but I will have to also translate this and find out what it says. I'm very interested to hear what their paragraphs say. Is that something about Ray's grandpa? I'm curious. <laughs> Ray's grandpa over here looking like a snack, okay. Oh, also, Hawkseye looking like a snack as well. They looked amazing. Look at her cute outfit. Lots and lots of screen grabs from the movies. And I really like the tall and impressionable and gorgeous drawings of each of the characters. Oh, the kitties get a page. 
Ooh, cool. We also get to see them in their full senshi uniforms. Ooh, some transformation sequences, cool. Is this for each of the sailor senshi? That's awesome. <gasps> yes, amazing. So cool. This is really pretty, y'all. Worth, worth the money already, and I'm not even halfway through it. Oh, the enemies get a page, nice. Really wish they had more time in the movie to go through kind of their stories. Same with the Amazon S Quartet. Paula Paula, she was just the goat, <laughs> wasn't she? In the movie, she was a goat. Haruka, she got tons and tons of really good footage in this movie. Me too, looking amazing. Oh, so cool. I love this outfit, love it. She looks so much younger in this movie, doesn't she? Oh, so cute, my fave. She's so powerful and amazing. Oh, I'm so glad they gave each of the outer senshi a page two because they really don't get enough credit and they're so strong. Oh, look, so cute. Oh, here we have a little bookmark. These oftentimes come in Japanese books. Tuxedo mask. Wow, this page is full of color and I love the aesthetic. There we have her, Eternal Sailor Moon. There they are all together. They look so great. Oh, the princesses. Oh my gosh. Oh, they look so beautiful. Ah, oh my gosh. Y'all, if you haven't watched the movie yet, you need to, because you're being so spoiled right now. Oh, look at her, she's so cute. Somebody please make this page into enamel pins, like one of each of them and her. Someone please do that. I will buy all of them. I love these. They would look so cute as pins. Oh my goodness. You just have to make sure like screen print those faces because that's so much detail. Oh, so cute. Wow. Oh, Sailor Quartet. The beautiful Sailor Quartet. Oh, and then we have Queen Nehalania. Oh, is that ever? Okay, I guess that was all the characters. Yeah, character data. Staff interview. Very nice. Okay, so over here we have the Outer Sailor Guardians in their gorgeous mansion. And we also have some blueprints of the interior of the mansion, at least the rooms that you get to see on camera. That's pretty cool. And this is the shrine or the temple in Elysium. Ah, oh, the music, very nice. Anza, oh, it looks like they interviewed each of the different musical artists. Kotono Mitsuishi. And then here we have, okay, so we have Shizuka Ito, Imi Koshimizu, Rina Sato, and Hisako Kanemoto. So these are the inner guardian voice actors. It looks like each of them got an interview. And then we have the outer guardian voice actors. Lots and lots of character interviews. Oh, and then we have the quartet. Very nice. The trio. Oh, look, that's such a cute photo of them. Kawaii. Oh, Naomi Watanabe. That's so cool. She had an entire interview too. That's so cool. She's like basically the ambassador for this movie. Doesn't she look like she would fit the character of Queen Nehalania? That makes sense. Ooh, artwork. Okay, so at the end of the book, we have this beautiful full page print of this Nehalania behind her mirror and then Super Sailor Moon coming out of it. That's really cool. And we also have these. I really wanna get posters of all of these. I think it would be so nice. Another piece. Some beautiful prints. I believe these are available as t-shirts at the Sailor Moon store currently. Oh, look at their party dresses. Oh my goodness, I love them. Oh, and this is from the jeans collection, one of my favorite collections, the Ichiban Kuji. Oh, they are so cute. Another cafe. That's from the CD. Oh, and then we have the Sailor Moon store print. That's adorable. Look at that snack, y'all. Mm. He looked fine. And don't y'all make fun of me for saying he looked fine and he's an anime character. I don't care. Men, step up your game. Oh, this is useful for a collector. So these are all the goods that came out for the Sailor Moon movie. So we have goods including stationery, like the Sunstar stationery. We have the little Polly Pocket compact houses. We have the card collection. We have the new Proplica that's coming out over here. And then we have all the Q poskets. I felt like there was a lot of Q poskets coming out this year. Turns out there are. Some electronics and accessories. 
This is very useful for a collector, especially if you're somebody that's like gotta catch them all. Here's an Ichiban Kuji. That's useful. There's the jeans collection. I can't wait to get my new glasses in the mail. I ordered those. Yes, Samantha Vega. That's one of my favorite collaborations every year. I always go freaking ham on those. Wow, so much merch came out in 2020 that I kind of skipped because I was on hiatus and just moved and we had the pandemonium. So I couldn't really get stuff shipped as easy as usual. Man, I got a lot of catching up to do. Oh boy. Oh, have you ever had these? Because they're delicious. Delicious candies. Oh, they have all the magazines too. That's useful. I can totally inventory all of the goods that I want to collect using these pages. That's so useful. I'm so glad they included this at the back of the book. Honestly, they should come out with this every year. I would pay for an inventory management system that just listed and gave me images of all of the different collections that came out every year and all of the different items for each of those collections because then it would be so much easier to manage my, my collection. It would also be really good for insurance. Like if you insure your collection against any kind of damage or like fire hazards or whatever, it would be really nice to have this kind of inventory system just to make sure that everything is insured. And here's the end of the book with a very cute image of Usagi. End scene, yay! So that is it for the visual book for Sailor Moon Eternal, the movie. Let me know what you think and if you have any thoughts on what the content was of this book. I thought it was well worth the money. I'm very happy that I decided to purchase one of these. I do have some other Sailor Moon Eternal merchandise coming in and currently shipping from Japan. So keep an eye on the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up to date and you know the pricing and you have these reviews at your fingertips so you know which items to buy and which ones you might want to skip. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything in particular you want to see a video on. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Janet.